quite a lot happening on the entertainment scene yeah. right very there. Very much so, very but, much so. Um, like always, what is interesting for me is um, Whiskey and Chateau Wale. I hear Whiskey is heading to Ghana. Yeah, in December. And also reports say that um, um, Shata Wale is threatening to disrupt um, Whiskey's show, you know, which is bound for this. Amber. But my, my concern is why Ghana? There are other places where whiskey. What's what's whiskey interest in, in Ghana? Why did he choose to go that way? Uh, well, maybe he just wants to put it right in Shata Wale's face that man, I've got the groove, so what is it? But more so Ghana is they are brothers, so we have to share the law and the spirit of the season, you know, it's December. So that's why he feels he should take his show to Ghana. Maybe we should just send out a mes message to Shata Wale and the likes of Shatawali that what we should take interest in spreading is the peace and not the war. Yeah, peace, peace is key. And you know, um, talking about um, love stuff happening in this season of wedding. December. <laughs> well, definitely not my wedding, but babe, what would you, um, how would you feel um, if you know, I appear in your wedding looking dapper than you. you, you, you know. <laughs> so are you saying the Banky W would have tickle, 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 Ebuka? Maybe, maybe not. But well, you know, sometimes things like that happen. Ebuka really stole the show, and it was a nice one. And there was um, a young man on, um, on, on Instagram who yeah. did a, a, an exact, um, um, uh, how do I say, replica of Ebuka's outfit yeah. and posted it on Instagram, you know, probably to show. It, but I don't think it was that it came out as oh, well, Ebuka <laughs> has it, and you know, talking about people who have it, you know, celebrating talent and creativity is one thing that we do on Click. Like this interesting personality is up on the artist zone. Popularly known by his stage name as Victor Velmo, the Nigerian rapper, singer and songwriter is from Omo here in North Abia State. He started music back in high school and took it professionally in 2014 and has since released chart top and single. His sound is a blend of hip-hop, afro beat, and a touch of indigenousness owing to his Igbo background. What's going on? I'm the Sound Factory Boy in the building. My name is Victor Velmo. Victor Velmo. At a very young age, you know, I picked up an interest in music, especially rap music. While I was growing up, um, I'm the last of four boys, so my brothers would influence me with the hip hop culture, the music they'll listen to. So I picked interest from there. I started listening to a lot of music. I couldn't mime and all that. So after a while, I thought about it. Then I started making music for myself, my own music, my own records, and did that for a while. And then thought to myself one more time and said, we could take this to the next level. <laughs> musician for starters, I rap, I sing, however my strength is more when I rap but I can sing as well, you know. So my music is a blend of Afro, Afro beats, a fusion of hip hop, pop and also some indigenousness, you know. So I think my music is urban, indigenous, Afro fusion. <laughs> Uh, some of the struggles would be, you know, first off, finance. You need funds. Your music needs to be funded. You need, you need, you need to be able to fund your music. You need to have um, access to a studio. A studio is basically your workplace as a musician. This look at the cash, 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 First things first, um, try to see how they can support the fight against piracy. Because uh, if, if that is being cut down, it's going to be a lot easier for artists to get um, revenue 
from what they are doing from their music. The proceeds they make from it is actually going to come back to them. And the Valley, slim guy, get his sauce like a biggie biggie With all the money where you get, I should never know me I'm about to spend cash, tell them made it homie You work for 30 days, drink them all in one night He watch your side, he well on your just throw wine Maka chuku daddy team, where you know like You put your pictures up and you get in only one like It's validity, but let the mo Be a more came on the mara the mo On the mara the way with the row Can't look at the mara the cold cold Nes yeah nothing, nes yeah nothing Then can't look, I can't never look And different more because they look super cool one of them that will fat for rap. Sound factor entertainment in the building. <laughs> Amazing stuff, um, Captain, I must tell you. And it's very fascinating to find out that um, we are having more of the whiskeys, more of the Davidos, yeah. more of the dummy cranes, and you know, Chateauwale. I mean, well, but we don't want more squabbles, <laughs> however. <laughs> Well, you know, it, it's really amazing to know that Nigeria has so much rich, um, you know, a music heritage. It's, it's just one thing that stands us out. And, you know, looking to 2018, I believe that this set of um, upcoming arts will really put Nigeria up there and, up there and you know, increase our um, GDP. And, exactly. You know, um, Delectable, what do you think about this beautiful ambience here? I mean, ambience, like you said, Richness in Nigeria, richness in Africa, that is what we are rich for. The ambience, the, the environment, we, the, the greenness, that is something um, we, to, to, to look out for in Africa. I can even spot a monkey oh, there. Okay. Uh, those monkeys, do they really also bring about the, the, the homely? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind, Captain. But you know what? We're going on a break. When we come back, more good stuff on Click Lights.